Hello. Hi there. Hi, how are you doing? So, have you completed the uh, assignments that I gave you yesterday, Satvik? Uh, you gave me two assignments, right? Uh, I believe two or three, right? Two or three, I believe so. I need help on the upside down triangle. Okay. Okay, so have you written anything, any code, any piece of code about that? A wrong one, can you just paste it here? Okay. The wrong one? Yeah. So that I may see how you are going. Okay. So this is your piece of code. And the This is, okay, this is for the table, this is not for the triangle, is it? Is it for the table or the triangle, Satwik? Okay, so what do you need to do? Can you hear me, Satwik? Can you hear me or not? Hello? Can you hear me? Satvik, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Satvi, can you hear me?
Pramod, are you there? Can you hear me now? Can you log out and log in? Tatvik? Patrick, please log out and log in. Pramod, are you there? What is it happening? Tatvi, can you hear me now? Time and the value is eight one. Yes, six second nine. The value is eight. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, good. Okay, so we have to paint the triangle. So first line eight seven six. I think it's okay. Whatever. Okay, so in the first line, first of all, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Seven or eight lines, number of rows. And then you have in the first line, in the first line, you have. Eight. Then in the second you have seven. It means the second loop, the second loop is for the values, right? We have one loop here, where I, and the other one. I'm going to complete the loop. We need to think about the logic. Okay. J is for the values. So they should be printing eight stars in the first go, right? 
So J will be starting from eight, right? And it will keep on printing until J is. Greater than or equal to one. J plus plus. So in the first line it will print from eight to one. In the second line it should print. Okay, it's not going to serve our purpose. Why so? Because in every line it will print eight stars. Okay, what we need is the number of stars should decrease the number of stars should decrease okay so what we can do is we can first complete for the number of lines the i so we will say i equals to 8 okay and then i is greater than equal to 1 I just explain it to you and then I minus minus. Okay. This is our first loop. Okay. Then we go to the second loop. In the second loop we will say J equals to 1 and J is less than or equal to I j is less than or equal to i and then j plus plus and then we will print the star so we will say system dot out dot print star okay, and then we will have a print line here so that it will go to the next line after one iteration, it will go to the next line. Okay. So what will happen is, it will start with the line number 8. Okay, and the value is 1, the lines, the number of lines, right? So, in the first line, it will print from 1 to 8. It's J is less than equal to i, the value of i is 8, so in the first line it will print it 8. In the second line, the value of i will be changed to 7, why because there is i minus minus. Then what will happen is, j will be printing the number of stars 7 times in the second line. Again in the third line, the value of i will be changed to 6, so j will be printing the number of stars six times. Is it clear? Yeah. Sir? Okay. Good. So Run it. Okay. So the print preview looks like this. The output, the console. Okay. Now, uh, what about the table? Have you printed the table? No. Okay. What was wrong with that? Do you do you understand that the first loop is for the number of lines, and the second loop is for the values? Do you understand this concept? I understand that concept. Okay. Then what is the problem? What is the issue you are facing?
Can you please give me a code? Okay. Yeah, the one where you have the table. Okay, so I think in the for loop, what have you written? I don't understand it. It says J and Alt, right? Okay, let me just uh, help you with this. Okay, so first of all, what do you want to do? You will take an input. First of all, you will take an input. So you will say int and then you will have some value like uh, uh, let's say val. Okay. You will say scanner uh, table or let's say input equals to new scanner dot in. Then you will say input. Then you will say val equals to input dot next print. Okay. Here you can say input value for multiplication multiplication table okay. so we are done here and now no worries time okay now you need the for loop right so you will use a loop like for int equals to int i int i equals to so in a table you have n values i is less than equal to n and i plus then you can say uh, let's say that you have a uh, let's say let's print it like this system dot out dot print okay. and then you will say uh, the value your value is val okay and then for that it will be showing the value multiplied by the i I okay. then it's going to it's going to print the value val multiply I so okay there is some error message let me see what it is so we have val plus the star we have put in put it in the inverted comma okay then we have equal to here so we need another inverted comma here and then 
Vigil just say we need to keep this in bracket and this should be plus because we are concatenating the lines. So plus, I just I'll uh, I'll help you to understand this. Just give me a moment. Let me fix this. So plus then star then plus okay so this is i'll help you to understand let me just see the output first of all okay so it will ask me for the value for the, of the table so let's say I'm entering the number two. So it's giving me two multiply one equals to two, two multiply two equals to four, and so on, right? So, so I hope you understand until this part where we are taking the input, right? I'm sure you understand this, right? After that, I have used a for loop, which is starting from the number one and going until 10. Why? Because we need to multiply the value from 1 to 10. 2 will be multiplied with 1. So that's why we are multiplying the val, the number that you have entered for the table, with the values of i. So we are starting, it's getting, the value is getting multiplied with the values of i. So it's getting, uh, it's 2 multiply 1 equals to 2. Okay. Then we have before that I have used I want to show that what I'm doing here so that's why I have used your val my val is 2 right 2 then we are concatenating the star here right I want to show in the output that there is a star which is the symbol for multiplication so val multiply then we are concatenating the value of i the value of i is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay then we also want to use equal to that's why we have put it in inverted comma and then we are concatenating the multiplication so plus val multiply i is it okay Satvik? yeah okay cool any other any other uh, assignment i gave you No, I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we will talk about another loop which is while loop. We will talk about Talk about while loop. While loop in Java. So, what is the syntax of while loop? So, first of all, you initialize the um, initialize the value like you do in the for loop. You initialize for int equals to i. In the same way, you will initialize. Initialize the value of loop counter like i int i equals to one. Right? Then what do you do? Then you put the while the condition. The condition i is less than equal to then, then there is, then you have, then you have another bracket here. Before closing the bracket, you increment or decrement it. Increment or decrement it. Before that, you can print 
प्लीज स्टेटमेंट टाइम दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वाइल लूप दिस इज इंडेक्स while loop okay now if you want to print from 1 to 10 using the while loop how will it look suppose you will say int i equals to 1 you want to print then you will say while i is less than equal to 10 in the brackets like i showed you in the syntax then system dot out dot println and then the value of i and then i plus plus okay you can print this From one to ten, using the while loop. This is the syntax of the while loop. So it starts from here, then it checks the condition, and then it prints the value, and then it increments it. This works like this. Okay. So in the first case, if I say i equals to ten, or I say i equals to eleven, what will happen? it will not print anything why because it's from here it's coming here to check the condition and it is not true that's why it's not printing anything right and there is another loop this is called do while loop So there is another loop which is called do while loop. Okay. In do while loop, what you do is you start with loop, right? First of all, you initialize, initialize, and you start with do. Then here you increment or decrement. Okay. after closing the bracket you at the end you check the condition i is less than equal to 10 and then your statement goes here your statement here what happens is you first of all initialize then you print your statement then you increment it then you check the condition so even if so even if the condition is not true the loop will print the printed for at least one time right in the while loop you just saw if i was 11 it did not print anything because the condition was not true as per the condition it was not true so it came out of the loop and it did not print even a single time but in the do while loop it first prints and then checks the condition that's why it will at least run one time so let's see how it works okay 
initialize int i equals to 11 and then System dot out dot print ln. Is there anything wrong? Create class two. Okay, so look at this. It just printed 11. Even if the condition is not true, it printed 11. So this is the difference between while loop and do while loop. The while loop will never work if the condition is not true. But the do while loop will at least run one time even if the condition is not true. Got it? Satvik? Not sure. Okay. So, okay, let's do one thing. So, I just printed, uh, I just, uh, uh, we had a program to print a table, right? Now, I want you to do that program using the loop. I want you to do the table program using the while loop.
Okay, Shafiq, how is it going? You need help? Yeah, I need a little help. Okay. Okay, I want you to look at this code. I want you to look at this code the loop and convert this loop in the while loop. This is what you just need to do. The printout statement, this one remains the same. This one remains the same. This loop needs to be converted in the while loop. Okay. This is the syntax of the while loop. Okay. Okay, this is what you need to do. Are you done? Sadhik, are you done? Almost. Okay, is it working? Sadhik, is it working? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, let me know when you are done.
So take two more minutes. Okay, not more than that. Okay, let me help you. Let me help you with this. Yeah, it's taking time. So what we are going to do here. We will start here and we will initialize that i equals to 1, right? i is less than equal to 10. I sent in the code that I worked on so far. Okay. Okay, till here it looks fine. Looks fine. It's fine. What is this you are using? It's and LT. You need to use I is less than this is the sign of less than okay less than equal to 10 satvik you got it I didn't use that i use the right sign you use the right sign okay but it will change when we go to meeting chat i think okay so system dot out dot print line Okay. Not val plus plus. Val is the value. It's i plus plus, right? I is the counter, loop counter. You need to increment the loop counter. Okay. Then you are adding the value of i and then you are adding equal to sign here right okay so what is your number my number is three so here it goes all right okay any any question on this? For uh, that system out print ln, why do you say i plus and val plus? Why, I mean plus val? Yeah, why because we are concatenating. The plus is used to concatenate. Okay, what we have done here. We are concatenating. We are presenting three 
so multiply one how will it appear we will need to concatenate three plus star plus one three is the value so val plus star plus one uh, i so val plus star plus i that's what i have done got it no Sadhvik, clear? Got it. Okay. Okay, now, so, uh, after today, we will be meeting on Monday, I guess. Uh, and that will be your uh, Tuesday, Tuesday morning or something like that. No. Your Monday morning? Okay, my Monday evening. So, we are going to meet on Monday now. So I'm giving you a few programs to do, like you have to do Fibonacci series. Do you know what is Fibonacci series? No. There is a series that is called Fibonacci series. Okay. So Fibonacci series is So if I say the number two, right? If I say the number two, what what will happen is it will start with the number zero, okay? Then it will print one. It will start with zero and one. Then in the next row, it will print the number zero plus one. So it will start with zero and one then it will start adding the previous two values for the third value it will start adding the previous two values so for the third value here i will add 0 and 1 so i will say 1 in the fourth value i will say 1 plus 1 i will add previous two values right so it will say 2 in the next value i will add 1 plus 2 so it will say 3 you got it we see it. Kind of. Okay. Okay. So now, what what you will do is, you will first take two values for zero and one will first take two value for, for 0 and 1 because 0 and 1 is already there right so you will say num1 equals to 0 and num2 equals to 1 these two the both the both both of these are integers and then you will say num3 this is also an integer you don't have the num3 because num3 will have the value, have the addition of number 1 and number 2, okay? Then you will have a counter. Then you will have a counter or you need to use a loop. You will be using a loop for the number of times you want this to be executed, okay? So for an example, you want it to print 10 times. So it will go like, 0 plus 1, 1, then 2, 3, so we have, here it is 1, right, 2, 3, then it will say 5, which is 4, so it's the iteration number 1, iteration number 2, iteration number 3, iteration number 4, then iteration number 5, so it will say 8, okay, you, you will have to use a loop in order to add the previous two numbers and store it in the number three and, and then print it. Can you do it? Will you try yeah. it? I'll try. Okay. Okay, great. So there is another task that is prime number. Okay, you know what is a prime number? You know what is the prime number? Yes. Okay, what's that? 
it's a number that can only be divided by itself and one. Correct. Correct. So what will happen is you will ask the user to enter the number. The user will enter the number and then your program will check if that if you will be using if condition there, if that is divisible by uh, only itself or by any other number. Okay. So prime number is there. Okay. Then you have to find out the factorial of a number. Factorial of a number. Okay. Factorial of a number. What is factorial of a number? If I say, what is the factorial of number five? Uh, yeah. What? So the factorial of number five is one, one times five multiply two multiply three multiply four multiply five. Right, so it's going to be 120. Okay, so whatever the number you enter, it will give you its factorial. So you have three programs, Fibonacci series, prime number, and factorial of a number. Okay. Any questions? So we're meeting next on Monday? Yeah, do you want to study tomorrow? A day after tomorrow? It's fine. Okay, well it, de well, it depends because uh, I'll have to talk to the admin regarding that, but we will be meeting on Monday, okay? Otherwise, if you want to take classes in between before that, so you'll have to talk to the, to the admin, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, see you, bye.